Airfares, as we know, are at an absolute all-time high. It's becoming quite the problem for many as the cost of living crisis continues. For Australia, this can be increased tenfold with severe pain surrounding the cost of flights, making travel for most Australians nowadays entirely out of reach. Now, though, action is being taken. The ACCC has essentially put airlines in Australia on a watch list, giving them all a formal notice that they're now under close supervision and their actions are being monitored. Why has such a remark emerged? Well, it's become apparent that potentially airlines may look to slow their total return to pre-pandemic levels for several intriguing reasons, which may ultimately affect the cost of a ticket. Ultimately, a decision to return not to full pre-pandemic capacity immediately allows them to keep airfares higher than they probably would have if they have reached, say, pre-pandemic by now. So while not confirmed in any way, it's been a concern that the ACCC do have, and it's resulted in them stepping in now. The ACCC is the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, for those that may be curious. And in their startling new revelation, we have obviously seen airfares increase. This can be for various reasons, one say due to the pandemic, but two as they may attempt to hold available resources in reserve. Airfares are currently 30% higher than before the pandemic in Australia, with naturally lots that can be attributed to such a change. Some actually out of the airline's control. But the ACCC is wary of tactics that Australian carriers may be implementing in an attempt to keep the revenues higher and mitigate some of the issues that they've experienced in recent years. It also comes as demand is skyrocketing in almost all areas, with forecasts predicting a very solid festive period. Of course, it comes as the first festive season in years where restrictions have eased in Australia allowing for both seamless travel internationally and also domestically, resulting in load factors being very high across the major rail lines. On top of that, the available seats being flown is higher than ever before. With all this data and information, however, the ACCC still has concerns over the incredibly high airfares that deter the available percentage missing from flying to actually jump on board a flight, stating, of course, that something needs to change. And they're hoping after the holiday season, it will do, even with those potential expectations. At the end of the day, while airlines have faced trying times that cannot be argued against, the ACCC has made it very clear that they want airlines to work internally to return to pre-pandemic capacity as soon as humanly possible on all fronts, so that action can be taken in reducing the overall airfare pricing that's impacting Australians, also those travelling to and from the country. Inflation, as we know, is a problem everywhere. The cost of living has skyrocketed, and even just going to the supermarket can really put a dent in your overall finances. Things need to change in the aviation sector. As we know, there are many issues from labor shortages to, of course, the price of airfares as discussed in today's video. It's about undertaking a step-by-step -step process and hopefully moving through these turbulent times to moving into a position where hopefully we're all better off. What are your thoughts on the problem in Australia regarding airfares? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear your take, especially if you are located in Australia and directly impacted by the airfares. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more aviation coverage. I will see you next time.